Oh, I like that one. I prefer that one on the right. I like this one here. Well, actually, I like them both. But I think I prefer this one a little bit. These women are engaged in an opinion research project. These women are doing research. And these women are doing research too. The women you have just seen are not professional researchers. They're simply housewives from all over the country. But all these women are doing research concerned with products for the home. Research on style, utility, and sales. And this is Chad Huntley bringing you a report on this new partnership between industry and the American woman. It begins like this. Basic research develops new materials to cope with the space age we're living in. This rocket nose cone is an example. It's made of pyroceram, a remarkable new glass ceramic material with exciting new properties. Now a nose cone has to be tough and durable to resist the forces of supersonic flight. So pyroceram is a typical example of the new materials being developed by American industry through research. Now the problem is this. Now that we have the material, what products can be made better than ever by using it? And more important still, how can industry be sure that what it makes are the things that people really want? It starts with men, designers, engineers, production men. First, they determine what things can be made better with pyrosaran. How about new and better products for the home? Everybody drinks coffee. How about a coffee percolator? About two-thirds of all the people who make coffee at home use a percolator. The market research people have established this figure. Seems no doubt that there is a need for good percolators. But it's also an established fact that three out of four new household products just don't sell. Or to put it another way, the women of America won't buy three out of every four new products offered to them for their homes because they aren't what women want. That's the basic problem, and that's the reason for this new partnership in research with women. So first, the design department works out some preliminary shapes. And good as these designers are, they know that women have minds of their own. They've learned to seek the help of the American housewife. Now let's go on to the next step in design and see how American women show one company what they want before it's offered for sale. People come from all over the United States and Canada, from the West, from the North, from the South, and from nearby cities, just as you yourself may come to Corning, New York, to visit the Glass Center. Half a million people a year visit the museum and exhibits building. And here the story begins, at the Opinion Center. People are asked to express their opinions about new products for the home. A new coffee percolator? What do you think, ladies? She asks men, too, but primary interest is in what women like. Each little detail of each new product is painstakingly researched in this way, and a lot of products get no further than here. What is your preference between these two shapes for a coffee pot? After several thousand opinions, you get a pretty good idea of what women want in the way of a coffee percolator shape or anything else. The Opinion Center survey proved that women prefer this shape. Now, how accurate are the Opinion Center findings? Well, so far, they've never been wrong. 
And don't forget, some pretty solid design goes into all these things in the first place. Now, this is the shape women want. What next? Well, at the same time that the Opinion Center is finding out what style women want, a lot of other things are going on. For instance, over in the lab, the scientists are running a complete series of tests. Naturally, the key to the whole thing is what kind of coffee will it brew? So thousands of cups of coffee are brewed. And important, too, is exact chemical analysis to see if the brewed coffee meets the standards set up by the Coffee Brewing Institute, which sets industry standards for good coffee. Then a series of tests that all housewares go through. Tests for impact and thermal shock. This means from extremes of hot to extremes of cold and back again. No worry on this score from Pyrosaran. Previous tests have shown conclusively that temperature just can't hurt this material. For instance, these frying pans are being boiled dry then plunged into cold water thousands of times. How many times? This is the original frying pan test, still going strong. Judge for yourself. Tests such as these are standard for all new products, and they're all important to any modern system of manufacturing. Most industries today are proud of their quality control testing. But here's some research that's important and unique. Remember, these products are primarily for women. For instance, did you ever notice that a man pours things this way? Well, women are smarter. Since they're not as strong as men, they pour this way. Who says so? the girls in the company test kitchens. They put all these products through their paces from the woman's point of view. Often preventing mistakes that neither the designers, the engineers, nor the laboratory had discovered. Once they pass a product, you can be sure it's pretty good. But this is just part of the story. It's time to check with those partners again the American women. So several hundred of them try out each product at home in their own kitchens. After all these women have had a chance to give something everyday use for a while, it's not difficult to evaluate how good it is at home. Careful records are kept of likes and dislikes. Any product that makes the grade this far is close to the home stretch. Several months have gone by, but a lot has been learned. The percolator brews good coffee. It's styled right, and it can take it. But most important, it's something which has been thoroughly tested by several hundred American women in their own kitchens. The things they don't like in the samples have been eliminated. The things they do like emphasized. But now to work out the final design again with the help of the American housewife. The whole process will be repeated again to be sure that the final design is exactly what housewives want. Now, what do you think? Which handle do women prefer? Uh, this one? Do they want this narrow band? Or do they prefer this one? And how about these decorations? Let's see what most American women prefer. This top gives a good view of coffee perking inside. Most women prefer this wide band. 
and this open handle is easy to grab and stands out away from the burner on a stove. The little knob on top makes it easy for women to pour. This was by far the most popular decoration. Inside, stainless steel has been used, matching the quality of the rest. So here is the completed design. We know that women like the way it looks, like the way it works. But there is one more step. No matter how good it is, no matter how much women like it, there's no point in any company bringing out a new product unless women are actually going to buy it. In line with the overall research philosophy, one more thing is checked with women. Stores are selected for actual sales tests. The rate of sales is compared with other well-known items. Some products fail to make the grade here and are eliminated. If women won't buy it, there's no point in making it. So Mrs. Research has her final say here. It doesn't do any good to argue logically with your wife. You have a percolator? But research in its new dimension, market research, has paid off. Women do like it well enough to buy it. If something has the style she wants and the usefulness she wants, chances are she'll buy it. Women pick the style, women pick the utility, and women prove it in the marketplace. This is how one company has solved the problem of developing products that women want. Research creates new materials to help solve the scientific problems of the space age. Further research indicates a whole array of things which can be made better than ever before. But to know for sure that these are things that women really want requires the stamp of approval from our partners in research, the women themselves.